Hi, I'm Kathy with Level Up RN. In this video, I will be discussing iron deficiency anemia, which is a disorder that you definitely have to know about for nursing school. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you guys a little quiz to test your understanding of some of the key facts I'll be covering. So definitely stay tuned for that. And if you have our Level Up RN pediatric nursing flashcards, go ahead and pull out your flashcard on iron deficiency anemia so you can follow along with me and pay close attention to the bold red text on the back of the card because those are the things that you are likely to get tested on. Iron deficiency anemia is a disorder characterized by decreased hemoglobin due to insufficient intake of iron or some kind of malabsorption syndrome that results in decreased absorption of iron. The most common risk factor in children is excess intake of cow's milk. So if a child is drinking lots of milk, which is low in iron, then they are filling up on milk and less likely to eat solid foods, including solid foods that are rich in iron. Signs and symptoms of iron deficiency anemia include fatigue, pallor, which means pale skin, shortness of breath, and tachycardia. Labs may show a decrease in hemoglobin, hematocrit, red blood cells, MCH, MCV, as well as ferritin. Treatment of iron deficiency anemia typically includes iron supplementation. Ferrous sulfate is an oral iron supplement, whereas iron dextran would be administered via the IM or IV rep. It's important to note that when administering IM iron dextran, you want to use the z track method in order to prevent leakage of the medication into the subcutaneous tissue, which can cause irritation and discoloration of the tissue. In terms of family teaching, we want to encourage families to increase their child's intake of iron-rich foods, which includes green vegetables, meat, raisins, and iron-fortified foods. In addition, it's important to note that vitamin C increases absorption of iron, whereas calcium decreases absorption of iron. So taking an iron supplement with orange juice is a great idea, whereas we would not wanna take it with milk or an acids because this would decrease absorption. If the child is taking a liquid iron supplement, it is recommended that they use a straw and brush their teeth afterwards in order to prevent staining of the teeth. It's also important to know that green or tarry black stools are expected when an individual is taking an iron supplement. So this type of finding would not be a cause for concern. All right, it's quiz time and I have three questions for you. Question number one, which vitamin increases absorption of iron? The answer is vitamin C. Question number two, a nurse is teaching a family about foods that are rich in iron. Which of the following foods should be included? Select all that apply. A, raisins. B, spinach. C, steak. And D, yogurt. The answer is A, B, and C. Yogurt is a dairy product, which is low in iron. It's also high in calcium, which decreases iron absorption. Question number three. A child with iron deficiency anemia is prescribed a liquid iron supplement. How can the child avoid staining their teeth? The answer is they can drink it with a straw and then brush their teeth afterwards. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Labs will also show. We invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. And if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and let us know what you found to be particularly helpful.